All right. All right. Number two. Number two. Sean, David, bring a new story and tell us about it. All right, you lead. All right. Um, so you may or may not have heard this. This is less a, a news story, but I've seen it popping up more and more now. The, the fact that birds aren't real. Do you know about this? What? I heard about it. Yeah. yeah. No, I have not. I know nothing about this. So here's a school of thought. Fake birds. Inform they me. already have. Inform me. They already have. Birds aren't real. So according to this school of thought, um, the government, U.S. government, basically committed like a mass genocide of birds in like the 50s, <laughs> basically between like 1950 and 2000 and killed all the birds with poisonous gas and have since replaced them with drones that are disguised as birds. I swear to God, this is, this is a real theory. So basically all of the birds that exist now are surveillance drones and they are made to look like regular birds or re- regular birds. They like meat, meat. Um, yeah. What about turkey, char- chicken? And like, what if I go to the store and get a chicken? Chicken. That's yeah. th- those are raised in like, Okay, that, that's not yeah, that's not old. part of it. I mean, the wild birds. birds. Okay, like wild birds, pigeons and shit like that. Um, okay, they're all just drones. And if, <laughs> according to this this theory, if a bird poops on your car or something, that's like basically a tracking device, and like you've been marked, <laughs> and the government's watching you. Okay. Apparently, apparently, <laughs> yeah. China and India have both confessed to like disguising surveillance drones as birds in the past. So maybe it's not as far fetched as it sounds. Um, I mean, putting one bird up, it. putting putting one bird up there is smart, but all the birds. Yeah, all I think them. all the birds. It's yeah. ridiculous. All There's the too birds. many cameras. That's a lot of cameras. Like, I don't know. There's so many birds. people to watch, man. Also, <laughs> imagine like technology has evolved quite a bit, right? You think they'd need to replace the birds somehow? So they we have to figure out a way to keep everybody inside. Hmm. What? Interesting. Is this like a uh, government it's like lockdown. A, it's just like a QAnon. It's, I mean, it seems theory. to be along those lines. It's just as ludicrous and crazy, but there's people it's who... It's more. It's more ludicrous and crazy. From what I like, can tell, look at the, look at, look at the birds like they're... It. Look at the birds like the smoothness of how they fly and the difference of how they... And you see dead birds like sometimes... They charge the on power road. lines when they're standing on power lines. <laughs> dead bird, that's how they charge. Dead birds are um, like plants, basically. Like planted there, and also there's other reasons. So they, they, vultures, <laughs> vultures were created to basically uh, replace sanitation workers. Um, what? There's if you, there's a lot of subliminal propaganda with birds, like the Twitter logo and NBC <laughs> peacock, the the bald eagle on the like presidential seal. So, oh, there wow. might be something. There might be something here. There might be, have, I... you ever seen, have you ever caught up in a bird yourself? <laughs> no, I I I, I haven't. I haven't. So it's yeah, it's it's gaining wow. some traction. Mm-hmm. Wow, they <laughs> they they charge on the power lines, <laughs> amongst other ways. But yeah, if you ever see birds on the power lines, that's how they charge. That makes sense. Oh man, so it's only that... wild. It's only wild birds. Like there are wild turkeys. Like yeah. not those, just birds that are like flying. Kind of fly. flying just the fly, ones, just yeah. the ones that are up in the sky. The ones that like. Yeah, I think so. And like, dude, I was driving by this field the other day, and there was like, I, I love birds. Bir- I, yeah, I love that. It looks so cool. And then like, maybe that's like, they're all coming to charge. Sure, like, what about when they fly in a in a V? I'm always fascinated yeah. about birds that fly in a V. Like, that's so cool about birds. It's but never maybe a perfect it's like, V either. You ever notice? Like, one side's always significantly it's, longer. But it's but it's pretty close. The, to sh- perfect. the, sh- the shape is right, but I'm saying that right. always one of the oh, arms the one's is like longer. longer. The one guy's like, hey, can I come? Can I come? They're like, no, no, no. We got a perfect V. All right, jump on this side. Do you know why birds fly south? Uh, For warmer Warmer weather? No. The walking would just take way too long. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So what this bird theory, like, how do you think? Do you think it started with the fact that birds are fake? And then they, like, put together all of this and, like, well, what about this? And then they had an answer. Like, how how did, how does this come up? And people have been thinking this for, like, I saw pictures of people in like the '60s with big signs that say "birds aren't real." Dude, this is probably like 14 people. But no, no, you're wrong. I believe it. You believe that birds 15 are fake now? I don't believe all of them are fake, but yeah. How many? A lot of fake ones. When we look up into the sky, I believe see... about five to ten percent of them are fake. Damn. That's pretty high. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I believe that zero point zero percent of birds are fake. I, like, why? So it's the government surveilling us. Like, why don't they just put lights on, like street lights? 
The, or, I mean that too, of course. But birds can like go inside your like you know stand on your windowsill and shit and look nah. inside. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Wow. I've never heard that one, but thanks for putting it on my radar. Watch and, out uh, for birds, Sean. All right. I'm gonna be much more. It kind of goes to your privacy thing. Like, what am I gonna do differently? Like, right. At least I mean, somebody a... will li- be listening. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be alone. <laughs> All right, my story is this uh, this company called Avcare. They accidentally, they're, they are a, a pharmaceutical company, and they're recalling a mistake they made, and they inadvertently uh, switched the depression medicine with the uh, erectile dysfunction medicine. So they sent out, like, huge <laughs> truckloads. They sent out huge truckloads of, uh, of Viagra, that was actually depression medication. <laughs> and then in the depression <laughs> medication, it was actually Viagra. Oh my God. They, they mixed it up. Yeah, they mixed it up. It yeah, it, What's it's the this company, company called, called again? Avcare. A V K A R E. <laughs> Aren't uh, Viagra pills blue? Uh, I don't know if it's I wonder- like, I think, I think it might be a generic uh, brand. Okay. Because it says, it says, uh, Symphodel and Trazazone in the same bottle by a third party vendor. The US FDA announced Wednesday uh, the active ingredient in erectile dysfunction. And then Terrazone is prescribed to treat depression. So it's like, I think it's like generics of the drugs. But so there's a bunch up. of like really sad, a bunch of really yeah. sad guys walking around with boners. So like, yeah. I still feel like shit, but like, it's a and good then, thing. <laughs> and then a bunch of, well, the worst thing I feel like would be to take Viagra and like not, like maybe right. you're in a relationship, she's out of town, or like maybe you're not getting laid that day. Like, mm-hmm. like you oh, want, I, I guess you, like, I guess you could play with yourself, but like, I would argue that. That the like the opposite. Well, like mental health is if if you need the antidepressant, of course you, know, yeah. you need to get treated. But I would like argue it's almost just as bad to need the Viagra. <laughs> you yeah. pop it, and you're like, just give me just five more minutes. I, we're we're gonna be in the money, and you're just waiting, <laughs> and then you like just start to feel like loopy. I don't know what the antidepressant would. Um, yeah, really yeah. Use. What would uh? Yeah, taking one every day though. That's kind of crazy. Like what like, um. If you took like a Viagra thing in this, yeah, you just would and... always have a boner, right? <laughs> I think eventually after a couple of days, you'd be like, I think this is the wrong thing. Like, <laughs> or you'd like, what if that was the way to like treat some people's depression? What if it, what if it both people were cured? Did right. you know how, um, how Viagra was like created? They were like, uh, uh it was a like, uh, heart medicine. There was like, cause it like uh, increased your blood flow. So it's people who had like shitty uh, blood flow. Like it didn't really solve that problem, but they noticed that all these guys had huge boners for like six hours. <laughs> they're like, all right, well, there's something here. And they made a shit ton of money. So like one of the and most they probably, at, at that point, they probably created the concept of erectile dysfunction. It sounds like, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's a Chicken thing. I, I, mm-hmm. I, I, I mean, I don't, I, you know, I don't know, but it sounds like it's You've probably the, a thing. You're wearing your conspiracy shoes a little bit today. This is like the second or third time that people are like creating, selling fear and creating erectile dysfunction. <laughs> I think we're. I mean, I mean, we're on the verge of ma- a breakthrough to mass, here. To mass market mm-hmm. a a a pill, like if you're right. Pfizer, you want to mass market a pill, you have to sell a concept, and that's not that's not that's marketing. That's not. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm just. It's not conspiracy theory. That's a, that, that's a huge mistake though like they're lucky that's, yeah, that's what that's the mistake it's a huge, how does what that happen it was something else like what right. if it was something else right and that was like opiates and, to kids have you ever have you ever had a product that you bought got recalled because you hear it a lot in the news like what was a, it and like did, uh, did you send it back it was a car and i took it in to get fixed it was like it wasn't like the brakes don't work it was like an airbag thing or something but i they, and to be honest with you I, we, we just kept ignoring we got all these notices and we're like whatever i don't fucking care i think and eventually I, I think we brought it in and they fixed it Okay, and like, and that's on the manufacturer. But it was like they'll pay for right. it, right? Correct. Right. It, it, yeah, they had to like replace a part, but it wasn't like so. Like they sell a thousand, they, they sell ten thousand. They send ten thousand cars, and then they send out ten thousand messages that says there's a problem with the airbag. Go get it fixed. How many of those people are going to actually do it? Six hundred. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I would never. I would honestly probably be the person never to Dude, do that. Like, they would, they must have sent us fifty letters. Which is just why are you doing that to get? If you have some <laughs> urgent, why are you sending letters? That's um, the worst way to get a message out. Right, it'll missed be there in three to five days. Calls. You, <laughs> okay, miss call. That's better. The, and then the, re- the way it got fixed is like we brought it to um, the shop to get like service again. You know, okay, inspe- inspect it. And they're like, oh, while you're here, let's let us fix oh, this problem. So it worked out. Uh, but um, if it was like a big deal, 
I guess you don't see that much, but like a T. Remember, there sometimes there was the there were phones that would like catch on fire. The Samsungs, yeah, the Samsungs. Yeah. That that would be a big one. I probably want that taken care of. Yeah, I guess like right. I mean, that was like kind of a, a major headline, and there jokes about it were on late night comedy shows and stuff like that. But it's a big mistake, man. It's a big mistake. Mm-hmm. Like we have, we should buy a lot of packages. We have a we have a small percentage error. Like we track it. It's like less than one percent. It's just someone getting the wrong thing. But this is like mass mass shipments that are going out to the distributors, and it should and be like, so regulated. I don't understand how that happens. Like I, I, my thought process, and I think this is how it works, is like in order to get it put, placed on the truck for shipping, has like a million things have to be scanned and right, check. right, like, like a check does mark, this a check mark. And then even like the farm, I guess they're probably mailing it to people and not going to the pharmacy. But regardless, that's crazy. Yeah. So that's my news. What a story. Have you ever heard a better podcast in your entire life? Take that, Joe Rogan. Best podcast you've ever heard. Get more podcasts right here and subscribe to the show too while you're at it. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. Honestly, I love you.